Hello and welcome to another Minecraft Java snapshot review. This week we have a lot of snapshots. I've missed like four or five weeks worth of snapshots and it's all going to be in this video. I'm not going to go through every individual feature, I'm just going to go through the most prominent ones. Starting things off we have brand new ore textures. They've changed the textures of every single ore in the game. Except diamond, which I think is good. Well, actually, they've changed the colours of diamond a tiny bit, but it's mostly stayed the same. And I've been watching the texture changes during the course of the last few weeks, and I must admit, they weren't the greatest, but now I think they've hit the nail on the head with this set of textures, and I think they should keep them like this. They added a new type of ravine called a crack cavern, and this is a crack cavern. It's basically a really, really, really thin ravine. But if I hop into survival mode and jump down, you will begin to see that this is a little bit deeper than a regular ravine. I think the next feature is probably the biggest feature that we had in the last four weeks. If I head down here, you should be able to see that the further down we go, the stone slowly begins to change. If you've been on the internet at all, you probably know what this is. This is deep slate, and once you get to about Y0, it slowly starts to trickle in and replace stone in all the caves. This is quite a cool cave. Something which I find extremely cool is that every ore has its own deep slate type, so it blends in nicely with the deep slate and it doesn't look all weird and out of place. Andesite generates down here, tuff generates down here, and if we can find ourselves an amethyst geode somewhere, it looks like there's one up there, they've replaced the tuff layer of the amethyst geode with smooth basalt, which is a brand new block I think Minecraft have completely outdone themselves with the diamond ore texture with the deep slate in the back. I just think it looks so, so cool. Speaking of ores, they've slightly tweaked the ore generation now. You might have seen that there was a brand new beta which came out for Minecraft Bedrock, like last week. And it was very, very cool because it added the new mountains. I'm not going to do a video on the new mountains, but there's plenty on YouTube which you can go and have a look at. Obviously, I'll cover them when they come to Minecraft Java. And I think we're all up to date, so we're up with this week's snapshot, which is 21W10A by the way. And this is a particularly big one because it adds the lush caves biome. Now, like when they added the dripstone caves, you can't really access them in proper world generation yet, so I had to make a specific world type for this. I had to set the only biome in the world to be lush caves. So all of the caves that are underneath me right now will be lush cave biomes. I think over here we've actually got an azalea tree, which is extremely cool. Yes. Okay, so, brand new type of tree. The way these new caves work is you find this type of tree, the azalea tree, on the surface. And when you do find them, you know you're above a lush caves biome. So, you can dig down the roots. And, as you can see, there's roots. And eventually, if you follow the roots all the way down, you will get to a lush caves biome. This was a kind of anticlimactic one to start in, to be honest with you. But if we hop into spectator mode, we should be able to see the grandness of these caves. They don't spawn here yet, but I believe axolotls will spawn in waters like this. I do really, really like the lush caves. At the moment, I think I prefer the dripstone caves because they just look a bit better, in my opinion. They look more natural. And I personally don't think we should have lush caves generating as far down as the deep slate layer because it just looks a bit weird and also how would the vegetation get down here in the first place but i think having the lush cave generation a little bit further up does make sense particularly by water oh my goodness this is very cool this is extremely cool so we have here a big cave which is half stone half deep slate with an abandoned mine shaft in it and it's a lush cave as well i personally think that's pretty cool that is pretty much it for this week, and I'm hoping to be back with another snapshot next week. But if it's not big enough, or if we don't get one, then I probably won't be. But I will always cover the snapshots eventually. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Goodbye.